What's up guys, it's Long John here and I'm bringing you another camo tutorial and today I'm doing the CSGO skin called Asimov and the Asimov skin is one of the most coveted skins in CSGO, it's one of the most rare um, it's expensive, everybody loves it, it's iconic and um, I'm doing it today on the Locust and I did this because I feel like the Locust best resembles the Op and that's what most people you know, use the Asimov. I think it comes on the P90 as well in that game, but when most people think of the Asimov skin, it is on the op. So I know the Locust, it doesn't have that good of a coverage area for the paint job, but it still does. Like it turned out, it looked great. So I'm just showing you guys how to do it right now. And first of all, you start off with a, just a bright white background because there's three main elements to the Asimov and it's the white background, the orange and black accents. And um, I will be having an example of the Asimov paint job in the video, but I'm gonna kind of change it up because just the main body of the Locust doesn't really give enough um, like canvas to show that Asimov look. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra stuff and it might not look exactly like it, but I think it'll help it out a lot better in the long run. So right now, you just add it directly where you see um, the scope, the back bracket, you add that that bright orange line right underneath it and the hardest part about this is kind of just angling the orange um, the orange squares to get it that squared off edgy look so you have to use a couple um, just square shapes and just resize it um, you can custom resize it by pressing down on the R stick and um, resize it to your liking make it like a long skinny rectangle or really thick perfect square it's just whatever you prefer but for this um, it's going to be needed so and just pick the brightest orange you can um, you'll notice it because I think it's like the fourth fourth or fifth one down but um so right now I'm just resizing it, resizing it to make that angle that you see on the op and this is the main part of it this is that iconic like it just gives it that look so right now I'm just trying to get this angle just right and fill in all the white spots and you're going to want the um everything just parallel and no corner sticking out every everything like around the same size so you can layer um, if you have to square pieces back to back it, it's no big deal but it's just as long it'll look good because you don't have your opacity down or anything so it'll layer over nicely so I'm getting that resize just right being real um, particular about it and right now I'm filling in that big square underneath the, uh, the back scope bracket so give it that nice thick line and then swooshes down over the magazine. And it's turning out pretty good. It looks, right now, this is um, exactly what it looks like. It, it um, resembles it. But I'll be adding some stuff here pretty soon that gives it a little twist, but it still keeps the Asimov look just because of our limited surface area that we have to work with. And I would say this orange, um, this right here to me was the hardest part of this skin or camo paint job um, but honestly this skin is pretty easy to make it's not as hard as the hyper beast um, but it does take some time on this part but the, other than that you could just eyeball it and just give it that as a look and um, I will be doing some more CSGO skins I have the Vulcan for the a K-47, which in the Black Ops, I think it's called the K-something. I have that made, and I also did a Dragon Lore skin, and that's another really rare CSGO skin, and that was probably the most challenging paint job I've done so far. I think I'm the first one that attempted it, so I'll be uploading that soon in a couple of days for you guys to see that, so that'll be a treat. Um, but right now... What I'm doing back on the Asimov uh, paint job is just trying to get this just right because it has an angled um, square to it and you want to just, you want to keep the square but I'm trying to cover it over with another white square so I can, um, so I can have it just even with the square behind that. So you can use white squares just to make everything parallel and straight just to cover up that extra orange that overlaps and it works really nice that way so there's two parts of that little swoosh or there's the main big part and then the little square i just added and then there's a little point so i use a triangle and you're going to want to press down on your thumb your right thumb stick to resize that give it a nice little sharp point almost like a like the end of an arrow 
but you don't want a perfect like a a right triangle you want it like a nice pointy triangle like that and just resize it and edge it up to your liking and it gives you that odd look so already it's starting to take shape looking like that as a model and it's looking good and i'm just being real articulate about this just resizing it and you can take as much time as you want on this uh, to make everything i think i could have done a better job just straighten everything up but it's pretty hard to tell especially in game um what what's going on on the uh, paint job but right here I think it does look good enough so we're gonna add some more accents now give it this oppy look and this is when it starts really looking like the op so if you notice there's some black some black outlining around the trigger um, by the magazine and it's all parallel to that edge if you see right there below the uh, bracket I'm lining it up with everything's pretty much parallel to that all the other um, all the other decals and there is a square decal that I added that is parallel to the, um, the left part of that square so I'm just gonna add more of these and just give it like a like the accent around the trigger and stuff like that so there's a thick black line running through there and that's coming together quite nicely and just resizing it on it's a little off on the other, so I'm just going to try and straighten it out a little bit. There we go. So once you start adding the black and the rest of the orange pieces, it really does start looking like, you know, the op. And I want to try this on maybe the Razorback or the VMP, something that resembles the P90, so we can get that P90 Asimov, Asimov going. So let's see how that turns out. So right now I'm just adding more accents around the trigger and the back of the gun and the black accents are really pulling it together the white the black and the orange come together quite nice and i think that's why the asimov is one of the uh you know one of the most coveted skins it looks great it's bright and it just catches your eye so straightening this out resizing it covering up all the gaps and then i'm going to continue to add black accents we're gonna add some orange into it as well and um, guys I think I forgot to mention especially in the hyper beast video copy and paste is your friend use the select and start button on uh, well that's what it is on Xbox one but you can copy shapes and it'll be the same color and everything And if you change the opacity it'll be the same opacity so right now I'm adding this orange accent so that's not exactly where it is on the op Asimov but like I said we don't have that that good area so I'm just gonna add it right here right where the um the right where it's kind of like indents for the uh the gun on the body so I'm keeping that right there and it'll be just a nice little addition to the uh the body and then um if you copy that and then um copy that square and then paste it behind it and then press x and um It'll give it a nice thick black outline around that part and just making it pop out and stuff like that. So, and then adding that and just copy some more shapes. So, that's another tip, guys. If you want to make a shape stand out on your camera, just copy the shape and then um, press square and it'll just make it an outline. And you can change it to black or whatever, give it that nice contoured look. So, And then we're just going to add some more accents, give it some more black, some more orange. And like I said, just pretty much everything's parallel to that back piece that we added in the beginning. And just angle it, and it's giving it that nice op look. And on this one, you want to put the orange in front of the black. So it kind of just stands out, it's not covered up, because you don't want it too overwhelmed. And a lot of these, the main, pretty much all you're going to be using is squares on this, on this, um, on this paint job. So one triangle and a bunch of squares. And so right now I'm adding that, that handguard um, decal by the magazine and making it that. Uh, and it's just once again adding more orange and stuff and giving that black outline like I told you guys that little trick. So. Um, 
everything's looking great. It's starting to look like the op skin and came together quite nicely. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Any other skins you'd like to see, CSGO skins, old Call of Duty skins, uh, maybe like a cartoon character or whatnot. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.